engineering the gate all around transistor. The AI era of computing demands unprecedented performance that depends on our ability to continue improving the most basic electronic building block, the transistor. As lithographic scaling slows, chipmakers are employing new 3D techniques like gate all around transistors, backside power delivery, and heterogeneous integration with advanced packaging to increase logic density in new ways. This video illustrates the key materials engineering breakthroughs developed to build gate all around transistors. Hundreds of process steps are involved in making gate all around transistors, and some are particularly important to performance and power consumption. Compared to previous generation FinFETs, gate all around transistors can increase logic cell area density by as much as 30% and reduce chip power consumption by as much as 25%. Let's take a closer look at five of the most important steps enabled by applied materials. Challenge number one, creating epi nano sheets. The first materials engineering challenge is creating the gate all around transistors new stacked nano sheets, which will be further modified to form the billions of current carrying silica nano sheets inside each chip. The stacked nano sheets are formed by using epitaxy to deposit alternating layers of silicon and sacrificial silicon germanium, each only about 35 atoms thick. First, applied Centura Prime Epi system pre cleans the silicon wafer to remove contaminants that can hinder epitaxial growth. Then, the system uniformly deposits the silicon and silicon germanium layers with uniformity of at least 99%. Once the nanosheets are completed, shallow trenches are etched to isolate the individual nanosheets. Then, multiple patterning, etch, and deposition steps are used to create dummy gates that will later be removed and replaced with actual gates. Challenge number two. Recessing silicon germanium. The second major challenge is creating perfectly formed cavities on the ends of each silicon germanium channel, where an inner spacer is deposited to isolate the transistor's gate from its source and drain. Applied's producer selector selective etch system pre cleans the ends of the silicon germanium channels, then laterally removes material with a silicon germanium to silicon selectivity of greater than 500 to 1. The system creates perfectly uniform box-shaped cavities that optimize transistor performance. Next, because the shallow cavities are so critical to performance, Applied's ProVision e-beam metrology system is used to penetrate the structures and measure the recess uniformity with nanometer resolution. Once the silicon germanium channels are recessed, insulating dielectric material is deposited over the transistors and then carefully selectively etched away, leaving dielectric spacer material only in the cavity regions. Challenge number three, recessing silicon and depositing source and drain epi. The third challenge is removing portions of the ends of the silicon nanosheets to create spaces where epitaxy is used to deposit high doping material that will tune the performance of the transistor source and drain. Removing too much silicon increases transistor leakage current and power consumption. The removal process also needs to avoid damaging neighboring materials. Applied's producer selectra selective etch system pre-cleans the ends of the silicon and then removes the material with a selectivity of greater than 100 to 1 to laterally shape the channels. Next, the Centura Prime system pre-cleans the source and drain cavities, then uses selective epitaxy to precisely deposit doped silicon to form the source and drain. Selective epitaxy is a slow and well-controlled process to ensure material is uniformly deposited into the cavities from the bottom up and defects are minimized. Once the source and drain engineering is completed, the spaces between the nanosheet-based devices are filled with a dielectric that isolates the transistors from one another. The transistors are then planarized down to the dummy gate structures, which are etched to create gate cavities that expose the channels. Challenge number four, removing silicon germanium channels. The fourth challenge is completely removing the sacrificial silicon germanium channels. Precisely removing all of the silicon germanium and only the silicon germanium is key. Applied's producer selectra system is used to remove material with a silicon germanium to silicon selectivity of greater than 500 to 1. The process results in uniform silicon nanosheets with optimal edge profiles that deliver superior transistor performance and power consumption. Applied's Prime Vision e beam inspection system is used to ensure no silicon germanium residue is left on the silicon nanosheets. If the process recipe leaves any residue, applied SemVision e-beam review system is used to analyze the defectivity and tune the recipe until it's perfect. Challenge number five, tuning the gate. 
The fifth critical materials engineering challenge is creating the metal gates that help the transistor switch from off to on at the precise threshold voltages needed for specific end products, ranging from the fastest and most powerful servers to the most compact and power-efficient smartphones. Engineering the threshold voltages involves varying the composition and thickness of the layers of metal deposited around each of the silicon nanosheets. In gate all-around transistors, the space between silicon channels is typically below 10 nanometers, which is much narrower than in FinFET designs. To form the multi-layer metal gate in this tiny space, Applied developed an integrated material solution based on the Endura platform to diffuse a dipole into the dielectric gate layer that surrounds the silicon nanosheets. This step tunes the threshold voltage without adding any volume. Next, the system uses a number of ALD steps to deposit ultra-thin metal gate layers. Multiple layers of metal are atomically deposited in the narrow space. Once the transistor metal gates are tuned, several etch steps are used to partition the larger gate structure. This completes the front end of line fabrication process for the gate all-around chips. Gate all-around transistors are a marvel of materials engineering. Applied Materials Engineers have been working with our customers for many years to develop the key materials engineering solutions needed to build gate all-around transistors and power the AI era of computing.